like most things in the Visual Studio environment, uh, you have the ability to customize or, or configure uh, your environment to, to a great degree. So uh, the editor is certainly no different. So all you need to do is, in order to do that, is to come up here to Tools and to Options. And then, of course, you can come over here and look at the text editor and then come down here to COBOL. You can adjust general uh, capabilities here. So, you know, auto list members, enable virtual space, line numbers, all this kind of stuff. Um, here is the information on tabs. You can do indenting, block indenting. You can adjust the tab size. Uh, I like to insert spaces uh, rather than keep tabs. They're just a, it's a, just makes life a little bit easier if you have to move your code around. And of course, here's some COBOL specific things. And again, uh, you can open your COBOL source in the free format, which gets you out of the area A, area B uh, constraints, generally speaking. You can also have automatic sequence numbering turned on. You can also upcase and uh, all that for reserved words or keywords. And of course, you have the automatic properties list. Automatic properties list, by the way, is, is kind of important. This right here is what allows you to have IntelliSense work. We're going to come back and visit about this in subsequent lessons, but this is really important, and I always recommend that you turn this on. You have this checked. And, of course, outlining um, is, is uh, uh, available to you as well. One other thing that I'm going to talk to you about is a thing called snippets, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in more detail as we go. Uh, but snippets are basically code snippets that are available to you to um, you know, kind of simplify your life. So anywhere in your source code, if you just go ahead and right mouse click, uh, there's a little menu that pops out here, uh, and it will allow you to insert a snippet. And I'll open up the snippet menu here, uh, and basically it will have information on class ID, delegate ID, enum, evaluate, and if block, if else, interface method, uh, all of these kinds of things. So you got perform, varying, program ID, static paragraph. But uh, I just wanted to kind of bring up the snippets and kind of show you uh, how you get at it. Um, and going ahead and, and getting rid of that menu, you can also establish breaks, breakpoints. You can run to cursor if you're in debug mode. And of course, you have the ability to cut, copy, paste, uh, turn on outlining or, or uh, toggle outlining or stop outlining. So all of these, these functions are available to you. And like I said, this is just a very brief explanation of some of the features that are available to us. So, so what I'd like to talk about now is macros. So I'm going to go over here and come over to my Macro Explorer and kind of pin this down a little bit so we can kind of see it. Uh, again, macros are one of the most powerful features inside of Visual Studio, and they can automate a lot of real repetitive tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and create my very first macro. And again, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the easy way. Instead of typing in all the things that I want to do, I'm going to kind of record all my keystrokes. And all those keystrokes will be saved inside of a recording file. So in order to start that, I'll do a Control-Shift-R. And that, that records. That basically sets up my recorder. Basically, you see this little toolbar right here. It has a pause recording, stop recording, and, of course, cancel recording. So what I want to do, very the very first thing is, I'm going to do a uh, control home. I'll set my cursor up to the very beginning of my file. And I'll be ready to go ahead and start my macros here. So I'll come up here to edit, and I'm going to go ahead and do a find replace. So I'll, do a, I'll just do a, a quick find here. And procedure is fine. That's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit enter. Notice it found in the procedure division. That's where I want to go. So again, keep in mind, I'm recording these keystrokes. So if I hit the home key, that takes me to the beginning of the line. End key takes me to the end of the line. And if I hit return, I can go ahead and, and add a line in there. And what I want to do is go ahead and just do a uh, add a comment. Now, notice I did the uh, asterisk greater than sign. I can do an asterisk greater than sign anywhere in my, in my uh, program. And everything that comes after that is a comment. So uh, we'll go ahead and put in some text here. Okay, added by a macro. Okay, that sounds good. I think we're all good here. I'll go ahead and uh, stop my recording. And look at what happens with uh, the macros. I'll go ahead and expand this, and I see my recording macro, and I see temporary macro. If I select it and then right mouse click, I can run it, edit it, I can rename it, I can delete it. Let's go ahead and edit it so that you can see exactly what the keystrokes were. Uh, so again, this is the, the information here. Uh, in this particular case, I can basically see my find, 
I can see what all I've done, done with this. I can go ahead and, and run it. Uh, and I'll go ahead and add something here to this one so that we, when we run it again, we'll know it's different. So I'll just go ahead and uh, put my initials in here. And I'll go ahead and save it, and that way we can run it again. So I'll come up here, close that. And let's start at the very beginning of the file itself so uh, we can run it. Again, I'll just select my temporary macro, right mouse click and say run. And as you can see, it went through and created my uh, extra line here. And again, this is the line that was created here by the running of that macro. Again, macros are very, very powerful. You can do all kinds of things with it. You can download macros from the uh, community. Um, there's a lot of real real creative folks out there that have built a bunch of really cool macros. Just be careful about how you use them. And again, uh, you know, this can significantly uh, enhance your, your uh, productivity. Okay, we've seen a brief uh, demonstration of the Visual Studio environment. We've talked a little bit about the IDE and the tools and options and macros and, and uh, toolbar shortcuts and uh, how to use the editor, how to use uh, some of the tools to upper and lowercase uh, your source code talked about bookmarks, line numbers, how to configure the editor. Um, we've talked about find and replace a little bit, or more, more specifically the find. And of course, uh, we've talked a little bit about snippets. Uh, we're going to go into more detail on snippets in Lesson 7. And of course, you saw a little bit about outlining and tabs. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and press on.